hi guys welcome to my channel my name is Jennifer and I'm a fashion designer so in today's topic I'm going to be really talking about and elaborating on um, being a fashion designer the things that I have to go through on a day-to-day -day basis and also my recent collection which I recently did I'm going to be going through some other steps which I did to get to that procedure of the, the runway and the catwalk show So for the show I had a little under six weeks to make sure that everything was up to scratch and ready for the collection. So for my research um, the concept was the gentleness between architecture and, the, con and tr the contrast between the structural buildings and the softness of the pastel tones. Um, so some of my colours consisted of ultraviolet, pastel pink, um, lime greens, blues this is one of my um, crop tops which i use and a power power blazer um, for one of my pieces so once you've got your research the next thing that i would do is to kind of start designing and start doing. for the design process what i like to do is do start doing collages i like to do um, watercolor paintings i like to um duplicate some of the images which I had for my first essential research so say for example if I had like some sketches I will photocopy them and sketch over the shapes which I've done orig originally to kind of create more in doing my research for my collections one of the main things that I like to do is primary research and what primary research is is the original piece of that research so say for example if you're going to a museum and you take a picture of a piece in the museum that is a primary research secondary research is something which is considered like um on pinterest or from the internet i also do love that as well i feel like you can get so much amazing images from pinterest or the internet and um, but the reason why i do like primary research first is because it's very personal to you and it creates a story for for your research and i'm very i'm very um much a person that's like a political designer so i feel like it's essential to have like your own story which is unique to yourself because that makes you stand out from others essentially and i think in in this time i think it's a really great time to kind of build and generate unique pieces and really play around with how you want your concept to go um along because essentially this is so important because how you research in this in this point of is going to be seen across the runway so it's really essential to just play around make sure you get a clear direction of what you would like to do then it will be amazing because how you communicate your sketches is really essential to how people will see it along on the runway i love fabric shopping and um, simply because when when you go fabric shopping there might be a uh, fabric that you thought may have worked essentially and then you find another fabric which works so much more better and is a lot stronger for your collection so i do spend a lot of time and pattern cutting and draping the um, garment simply because this part has to be accurate and so clean and pristine so hi guys um, so at the moment i'm just um going to do some pattern cutting this is just a trace of which I'm going to be doing. But for this section you have to really make sure that everything is pinned in place, especially if you're doing a trace of and you have to make sure that all the pieces are matching and aligning. Just make sure they come up. This is like my own thing. So once the prototype is done, I then use it to put on a model and fit the model just to see if the, it will fit correctly and perfectly. And sometimes it doesn't always fit perfectly, but this is also good in this process because you can use that time to fix it and fix the alterations to make sure that it is fitting perfectly and ready. Sometimes 
sometimes when you do try it on a model you might think oh my god this is not how i thought it would look this is not this is not the vision that i wanted like girl so then you just start start over or you can just adjust it to the way that you want to look and i, I feel like this is actually good because sometimes it it just it makes a garment look so much more sharper and so much more pristine so yeah this is the fit process is honestly so essential it leads to just stronger ideas in general so this is why the fit process is so essential it's so important to make sure that you know you really fit every single one of your garment pieces on the models who are gonna wear them Sometimes you might not even have the budget, you might even not have enough fabric, so you have to make sure that the patterns match, you have to make sure that this part goes seamlessly. Um, so yeah, um, but it's a good time to make sure that everything is kind of running smoothly and take your time on this part as well because sometimes one of the mistakes that I've done in the past is like I thought oh my god I'm, I'm on such a tight schedule um the sewing part it just has to be done right now it has to be done right now and literally got a little bit frantic and if when you do that you know you're, you tend to make more mistakes along the way so I think it's really t important to in this time where you're sewing and doing the construction part of the garment make sure that you're really focused on just on finishing that as perfectly and as seamlessly as possible as you're getting closer to the show there's you know there's the anticipation because everything needs to be done and sometimes you know you're running slightly behind schedule so there's that kind of nervousness and you're like oh my god i don't know what to do like so there's always that kind of rush and that kind of buzz like oh, am i gonna get this finished on time is everything gonna be okay but honestly i can assure you if you just keep on working it should be fine so when it comes down to the fashion show um, this is the re really exciting part because there's so many there's so much different ways to read a collection there's so much different ways to um analyze it you know there's the fabrics there's the color choices um there's the silhouette the structure of the of the collection how it all flows together um but the interesting part is once once it's already on the collection as a designer sometimes you're just like you know what okay what what can i do next what's the next big thing i can do how can i how can i duplicate this how can i make this better how can i make this stronger i think this is really interesting because when you then speak to people after the collection and after the runway they might you might speak to two different people and they have interpreted the collection two completely different ways and that's the beauty of um art you know is that it's it's unique and subjugated differently to every single person um because they they interpret everybody interprets art and art in motion in different ways and different formulas so that's the really amazing thing about um once you once the collection is done because you speak to so much different people and everyone has their like own views and opinion on how they think your collection has gone and once the collection is done um it really dawns on you like wow so much people view my collection in the next one i'm gonna basically be talking about how i come up with the research and concept pieces this is like one of my favorite pieces i love to re i could research forever um, so yeah I think it's really important to um, go about how you would research something and how you'll come up with a design process as well more designs for your concept so yeah I will see you in the next one girl make sure you subscribe to my channel like that button and let's get into it I'll see you soon <laughs>